Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. Brandon again. I want to give you guys a little bit of update of what's going on with me because it's been about 10 days since I posted a video. And for the most part, I've been pretty consistent about being able to put up one to two videos per week, even if that is just a training video, a review video, or just something topical at the moment. And part of the reason why I haven't been able to do that is just work has been extremely busy for me. We're at the start of a new fiscal year for my company. We started in February, which was a little bit weird. Uh, but it's just been very busy for work. I've been dealing with a little bit of lower back tightness and I've been going through a little bit of an identity crisis when it comes to who I am as a lifter. Now, for those of you who've been following me for quite some time, this channel has predominantly been a powerlifting channel. My initial YouTube channel was more bodybuilding style focused, and then I eventually transitioned more to powerlifting, and that's really been my niche, so to say, what I've really been focusing on because that's how I've wanted to train. I've done several powerlifting meets, and most of my training has been based around the big compound lifts and trying to get my total as high as possible. Now, this past week, I've really just been kind of frustrated. I really attribute this a lot to not being able to train, and there's having a lot of time to watch other people on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram, whatever other social media sites that I'm on, that I see a lot of other people progressing in because I wasn't able to train. It got me really frustrated because number one, I couldn't train. And also I've seen a lot of people progress, which is awesome. It's really motivating me to see people do above and beyond what they're capable of in some instances and it makes me want to do the same. But then I get frustrated because I'm not progressing at how I want, or at least in my mind. Now, full disclosure, I understand that in my age, which is 38, I'm not going to see the same gains I would when I was 15 or 16 and first started training or first even started getting into powerlifting and programming. And as part of that too, I understand that, look, I have a full-time job, I have a family, I have a wife, I have a kid and another kid on the way. Uh, I travel for work and I have a lot of other commitments and a lot of other interests that take priority over my own lifting because this is something that I do for fun, although it would be a lot more fun if my total was increasing. So as part of that, that past week, I've really kind of just been demotivated, haven't really felt like making videos, haven't had anything much to say, I don't really want to show you my training because there hasn't been any. And I've really kind of been trying to decide what I want to do. And I think part of the thing is, is I don't want to get completely away from powerlifting because I really like the strength aspect of training. But in order to kind of fill some other needs and desires in my own training, I think I'm going to go back to more volume-based training. So I'm still going to be benching, squatting, and deadlifting, but I'm going to be doing so in a more voluminous fashion. So I'm going to be trying to do some sets of 10 to 12 on the main compounds, eventually kind of getting more comfortable, working my work capacity up to those points where they can handle that. And then maybe I'll start looking more at a real powerlifting style programming where I'm dropping the reps and increasing the intensity. I think part of the issue is I've been so wrapped up in the powerlifting mindset where I've been running program after program after program, been working with coach after coach after coach, and I've really been focused on the numbers and not on the actual just coming down and the movements itself. So what I'm gonna focus on this next training block with the volume is trying to dial in and work on some technique aspects. So like for instance on my squat, I really wanna to try to eliminate some of the forward lean I have both coming in and out of the hole. Obviously I wanna work on my mobility and my legs and I'll be making a video on the mobility work that I did for a big part of last year and then completely stopped and give you my feedback on how that went. On my deadlifts, I wanna make sure that my back is in a more neutral position for my conventional pulls because even though I've been deadlifting for a long time and I've worked up to a pretty fairly decent deadlift and I've remained largely injury free, there are some instances where my back does get tight or every couple of months it flares up a little bit. And again, in the long term, I wanna make sure that I'm being as safe as possible and as best of position as possible which then in turn might help me actually pull some bigger weights because I'll be able to keep a stricter form or be in a better position to be successful. On my bench, it's just gonna be a kind of a, a game of where I want to do. Hopefully, being able to add in more volume is going to help my bench, which is something that's been struggling the past year and a half to two years ever since I had that AC joint issue. I will also play around with benching more frequently, so maybe upping that to four times a week per game. That seemed to work very well in the past, but also just add in some other movements that I haven't had the opportunity to really do. Now, another thing that's looming in the future besides the another kid that's coming soon is we're actually going to be selling this house and building a new house. In the interim, by the time we sell this house and start construction on the new house, we're more than likely gonna be renting during the time the new house is being built. I'll still be in the basement of the new house, but we're gonna be building it with a deeper or taller ceiling, so I'll be able to do some more interesting stuff down there. But that being said, at the place that we rent, I'm not sure if I'm gonna necessarily have space down there or not. So you might have noticed in some of the videos, I've really been clearing out a lot of the equipment that I had down here because in anticipation of the move, I don't want to have to move all that stuff. 
and I also don't want it to put it in storage. So I'm trying to kind of just keep the basics for now, and depending on where we end up renting, I may or may not move that with me to the rental if it has a garage, if it has a basement space, or I might just have to get rid of it, and then I'll just be going to a gym for the period of a couple of months again while that new house is being built. On the bright side though, it will leave for a very interesting new home gym build when we're eventually in the new spot. And I think I will also make a video talking about what I've sold so far, what I've decided to keep, and maybe talk about why. That way if you're looking at buying or getting some equipment, you can kind of get my feedback on what I think is most critical as someone who spent a ton of money on a home gym and has also made a lot of money selling equipment in his home gym. So that's where I am right now. I'll probably show you some clips here, but what I can tell you is the volume has really been kicking my butt the first two days. Again, taking 10 days off of training really hasn't helped any, so I'm trying to ease my way back in. The weights are light, and it's really showing how low my work capacity is because some of these sets of 10 or 12, even though the weight isn't very heavy, have completely wrecked me. One of the things I'm also gonna be working on is keeping my work time or rest time between sets to a minimum, so only one to two minutes, and then try to get right back into it. Again, it'll get some of that work capacity up and maybe even work my lungs a little bit because it's been a long time since I've done that. But that's what's up with me. Hopefully everything is good with you guys. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next video.